Hello everyone, you are most welcome again on my channel and today we are going to talk about intertextuality. ये टॉपिक है आपका यू के पी एस सी इंग्लिश सब्जेक्ट के लिए और जो लोग पी डी एफ की बात कर रहे हैं वो मेरे व्हाट्सएप नंबर पर कॉन्टेक्ट कर सकते हैं दे केन बाय इट फ्रॉम माई व्हाट्सएप सो यू कैन डायरेक्टली कॉन्टेक्ट देर सो वॉट इज इंटरटेक्चुअलिटी इंटरटेक्चुअलिटी इज शेपिंग ऑफ अ टैक्स यू कैन सी हि A text meaning by another text, a literary device that creates an interrelationship between texts. Ah, यहाँ पर क्या होता है कि कोई जो writer है वो किसी और writer के work को अपने तरीके से explain करता है या वहाँ से motivation लेता है. So this includes allusion, ah, uh, quotations, plagiarism and parody. कभी-कभी इसको plagiarism भी बोला जाता है क्योंकि कोई भी plagiarism होता क्या है right? Uh, राइटिंग में कि एक राइटर दूसरे राइटर की लिखी हुई बुक को अपने तरीके से आ, या तो एक्सप्लेन कर देता है या उसे कॉपी कर देता है सो हियर आर सम एग्जांपल्स यू कैन सी हियर फर्स्ट इज ईस्ट ऑफ ईडन इन नाइनटीन फिफ्टी टू बाय जॉन स्टेन जो कि इंटरटेक्चुअलिटी का एग्जांपल है यूलिस नाइनटीन जेम्स जॉयस एंड दैट वॉज रिटेलिंग ऑफ होमर्स ऑडिसी सो दिस वॉज रिटेलिंग ऑफ होमर्स ऑडिसी यूलिसिस an absalom an absalom in 1936 by faulkner and that was retelling of absalom by samuel earthly power in 1980 by anthony burgess and the last one you can see here uh, the next one retelling of hamlet so you need to remember all these examples okay retelling of homer the dead fathers club in 2006 by matt hag so these are examples and these will be asked in the same way A uh, thousand acre, nineteen ninety one, by Jane uh, Smiley. So retelling of King Lear. So this work, A Thousand Acres, nineteen ninety one. You can see there. It is retelling of King Lear. Perilendra, nineteen forty three, by uh, C. S. Lewis. Leaning on Paradise Lost. So you can see this was motivated by Paradise Lost by Milton here. and wild circus of sea 1966 by jeans rice uh, it was retelling of or uh, you can say it was uh, leaning on uh, jane eyre the legend of beggar wens 1996 by steven presswild retelling of bhagavad gita bridges jones diaries 1996 by helen uh, helen fielding by helen Fielding, and this was referencing Jane Austen's Pride and uh, Prejudice. So Jane Austen's Pride and uh, Pride and Prejudice was, uh, you know, the reference was taken from this work. That's why it is example of intertextuality, and uh, the work's name was Bridget Jones' Diary in 1996. Tortilla Flat in 1935. You can see, and by John Steinbeck, it was written and retelling of the. Arthurian legends and uh, the motivation, or you can say, they talked about Arthurian legends. Next is morning becomes Electra in 1931 by Eugene O'Neill, retelling of Silas the Or Austria. So these are the examples of uh, intertextuality, as you can see. And here are the notes. If you want to contact, you can contact me on WhatsApp for notes. If you are preparing for UKPSC lecture English subject, thank you for watching and bye bye. Take care. See you in next video.